Final leg, here for an athlete spotlight where we're talking about Allison Felix from the United States, one of the greatest track and field athletes in the history of the sport. We want to try and answer the question, can she complete a successful comeback and go out on top after her final Olympics in Tokyo 2020 next year? We saw that she gave birth to her first child in November of 2018, and she managed to come back just eight months later and qualify as part of the relay teams to the World Championships in Doha this year. She said that Tokyo next year is going to be her final Olympics and she wants to make sure she goes out not only on her own terms but also on a positive note. So before I give you my opinion, make sure you guys go to the comment section below. Let me know if you think Felix is going to be able to make the US team to Tokyo next year and if you think she's going to be able to make the team, let me know if you think she's going to get top three and get on the podium in Tokyo next year. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Now we need to take a look back at Felix's career to see the progress to get to where she's at right now. Of course, she She's been so successful, but let's jump back about 18 years to 2001 when she was just still a 16 year old and was just a sophomore in high school. Felix went to the World Youth Championships that year in Hungary, and many people don't know, but she won the gold medal in the 100 meters, which was just the first of many medals she would win through her career. In 2002, she competed in the 200 meters at the World Junior Championships in Kingston, but unfortunately only finished fifth in that 200 meter final, notably behind Sonia Richards Ross who finished third in that specific race. That might have been the motivator because in 2003, she really stepped things up. In the 200 meters, she actually went undefeated the entire preseason, highlighted by the current standing world junior record of 22.11 seconds set in Mexico City that year. Still only 18 years old at this point, she made the US team to the Paris World Championships that year, and Felix made it past the heats, but didn't qualify to the quarterfinals. But this was only her first senior world championships and really setting herself up for a huge career. In 2004, she chose to skip university and go pro straight from high school, signing a huge deal with Adidas at the time. She became the US champion at 200 meters, making her first Olympic team to Athens that year. In Athens, Felix ultimately finished in second place to Veronica Campbell Brown, winning the silver medal in 22.18 seconds, really backing up the world junior record she set a year prior in 2003. This really cemented herself as a force to be reckoned with on the world stage and she was still only 19 years old at the time. Then in 2005 she qualified for her second world championship team for the USA. At those world championships in Helsinki Finland she would come away with her first gold medal in the 200 meters winning in 22.16 a comfortable margin over the rest of the field in Helsinki. In addition that year she improved her 100 meter personal best to 11.05 seconds earlier in that season. Jumping over to 2007, she improved her 100 meter personal best to 11.01 seconds, just on the cusp of that 11 second barrier. She also jumped down to 49.70 seconds in the 400 meters and went undefeated all year in the 200 meters leading into the Osaka World Championships. She managed to defend her title with a gold medal winning performance of 21.81 seconds. That improved her personal best by three tenths of a second and was the first time that she actually went under 22 seconds in her entire career. Entering 2008, where she went on a mission going for that gold medal that she missed out in Athens just four years prior, she opened up her individual season in Doha that year, running a 100 and 400 meter single day double in which she ran 49.83 in the 400 and then a personal best of 10.93 in the 100 meters. She made the team to Beijing that year and was super confident that she would step things up and get that gold medal. She made it comfortably through the rounds to the 200 meter final but unfortunately only grabbed the silver medal again losing to Veronica Campbell Brown for the second time. Her time of 21.93 seconds though was the second time that she had gone under 22 seconds and was the second fastest time in her career. So though she was disappointed for not accomplishing what she set out to do she's a fighter and she was not going to be defeated. So in 2009 another world championships this time in Berlin she went in as a defending champion but was also the world leader having run 21.88 seconds in Stockholm home, her second fastest time ever at this point. Felix went on to win her third consecutive 200 meter title in Berlin that year and she actually became the first person to ever win a three-peat at either the World Championships or the Olympics. The only person to ever do it since that has been Usain Bolt. But 2010 we started to see her shift into the 400 meters. She managed to win both the 200 and the 400 meters at the inaugural Diamond League that year. She really wanted to show that she can go for that double at the World Championships the following year in 2010. 
2011. She already had the wild card for the 200 meters as a defending world champion, so she only had to qualify in the 400 meters in which she won the US championships. At the world championships in Daegu that year, she would attempt the 200-400 double, first with that 400 meters though, and in a thrilling race, Felix finished second place in an amazing photo finish at the line with a Mato Monstro from Botswana. She walked away with a personal best of 49.59 seconds, but only finished second place, getting that silver medal. Next though is the 200 meters. After comfortably making it through the rounds, she got third place in the final behind Veronica Campbell Brown and Carmelita Jeter this time. But she proved that she's really capable of being the best in the world at two events. So 2012 would be her third chance for an Olympic gold medal. She was really going for the redemption and chose to only focus on the 200 meters this year. This was actually only one of two seasons in her entire career where she didn't run the 400 meters. At the US trials in the 100 meters, she had a dead heat photo finish with Jenna Batarmo for third place that was going to be decided by a runoff after the meet though. Leading into the 200, she really must have been fueled by the controversy and went on to run a personal best of 21.69 seconds. That moved her to number four all time back then in 2012. It currently sits at number six all time, but still one of the best performances in the history of the 200 meters. Felix was ultimately giving the 100 meter spot after the runoff didn't occur, Jenna Batarbo gave up her spot on the 100 meter team. Once in London, Felix finally saw her success. First in the 100 meters, she finished fifth in the final with her current personal best of 10.89 seconds. Then she grabbed that gold medal in the 200 meters running 21.88 seconds to beat out Shelly Ann Fraser Price and Carmelita Jeter for that gold medal. 2013 was a little bit of a down year though. Still consistent through the season, but she got to Moscow at the World Championships, made it through the rounds to the final of the 200 meters but in that final she started got out to about 50 meters and fell to the track injured this was actually be the first time in her entire 10-year career up to that point that she suffered a significant injury but 2014 she recovered very quickly and went on to win the diamond league final that year at 200 meters 2015 was a big year where she really shifted her focus to the 400 meters after focusing on the 200 meters for about three years she went undefeated all year at 400 meters culminating in the Beijing world Champ championships where she ran away from the field winning in her current personal best of 49.26 seconds. 2016 she set out on the goal of completing an Olympic double in Rio. Despite suffering from an ankle injury in April of that year, she went on to win the 400 meters at USA's. In the 200 meters though, the third place spot was decided by a photo finish where Prandini fell to the track and edged out Felix by just a hundredth of a second. So unfortunately Felix would only only go to Rio to try and get that 400 meter gold. In Rio, she made it through to the 400 meter finals, but she would end up in yet another photo finish, this time with Shawnee Miller Weibo falling to the track edging out the win, relegating Felix to another silver medal. Still a huge accomplishment for her first Olympic 400 meters and adding to her accolades over the years. 2017 saw her enter the World Championships in London, probably as a co-favorite with Miller Weibo, but in the final she went out very, very hard and unfortunately faded a little bit in the final straight, ultimately finishing in third place behind Sawa Eid Nasser and Phyllis Francis. Now between all her individual success, we can never forget about her relay accolades, which really show the versus of Allison Felix over the years. She has been a mainstay on the US 4x1 and 4x4 team since 2007. In the 4x1, she got gold in the 2007, 2011, 2012, 2016, and 2017 championships. And that 2012 Olympic 4x1 stands as the current world record in the event. In the 4x4 though, she won gold at every single major championship except 2013 when she got injured and 2015 where she earned a silver medal. But Felix Felix has some of the fastest relay splits in the history of the event. London 2012 saw her split 48.2 seconds. Osaka in 2007, she ran 48.01 seconds. And in Beijing 2015, she ran 47.72 seconds, which currently stands as the third fastest relay split in the history of the 4x4. Now, like I mentioned earlier, in November 2018, she took a step back to start a family giving birth to her first child, but she came back after just eight months in July 20 
2019 to earn six at the 400 meters at USA's, making the team to Doha as part of the relays and grabbing gold in the mixed 4x4 and gold as part of the women's 4x4 after running the heats. So after all of that, Felix currently stands as the most decorated athlete in track and field world championship history, having won 13 gold medals after the Doha World Championships this year, surpassing Usain Bolt's 11 gold medals that he had won at world championships. Now she's going to be looking to make her final Olympic team to Tokyo next year. So the question is, can she complete her comeback, make that US team to Tokyo and get on the podium at her final Olympics? Well, her first goal is going to be to make that US team to Tokyo. I would usually say it takes about mid to low 50 seconds to make a US team to a championships. But we all know that the Olympic year really brings out the best in some of the athletes. And these ladies might prove to be some great competition. We have a lot of ladies like Phyllis Francis, Shakima Wimbley, Wildland Jonathan, Kendall Ellis, Courtney Okolo. All these ladies have personal bests under 50 seconds and definitely are going to be pushing the pace, fighting for a spot to Tokyo next year. But let's say she makes the top three at USA's and books her tickets to the Olympics. Her next goal here is going to be to get on that podium and get top three in Tokyo. But she's going to have a lot of competition here as well. This 400 meter event has really stepped up over the past two, three years. Highlighted by Sao Aid Nasser and Sean and Miller Weibo. Both these ladies this year ran low 48 seconds. They're really on the cusp of breaking that 48 second barrier, really separating themselves from the rest of the field. But not even just these two ladies. Like I mentioned, the ladies from the United States, we have Sharika Jackson from Jamaica. Make sure you guys check out the video I did of the women to look out for in the 2020 Olympic season. I highlight a couple women there. Felix is going to have to contend with a lot of these ladies who are all in 49 second shape. All these ladies ran personal best in 2019 and are going to be in the shape of their life going for the Olympics and are definitely going to be making it a challenge for Felix. So in summary, it's going to be a huge challenge for Felix to make the Olympic team to Tokyo, but if she's able to make that US team, she's definitely going to have a really good shot at getting on the podium since she already passed all those other US ladies earlier in the season. So do I think that Felix is going to be able to make that individual team to Tokyo next year? I think we're actually going to see a repeat of the 400 meters in 2011, the 200 meters at the Rio Olympic trials, even the 400 meters in Rio that year. I think it's going to be a photo finish. Someone's going to dive or fall at the line. But I think this time Felix is going to make that team and get that third spot to the Tokyo Olympics to be able to have that chance to go out on top. Of course, she's one of the greatest athletes in history. She has that experience. She has that determination and she definitely has that drive. Of course, it's going to be a huge challenge, but she just showed after giving birth eight months later, she was able to make the relay team. So now almost two years after giving birth, she's definitely going to be a contender for the U.S. team and then potentially getting on that podium in Tokyo. If anyone can do it, Allison Felix would be the one to be able to get that spot. All right, so make sure you comment below. Let me know your opinion. Do you think Felix will be able to make the U.S. team to Tokyo? Will she be able to medal in Tokyo? Even do you think she should maybe compete in the 200 meters as opposed to 400 meters? Leave your comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and be back again in the next video. Thanks.